Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to another episode of Modern Warfare Remastered in Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the AK-47 Assault Rifle, which is about as classic Call of Duty as Call of Duty can get. There aren't many games in the series as iconic as the AK-47. You play through it frequently in campaign. A version of it shows up in almost every single Call of Duty game since this one, and it is a very serviceable weapon in Modern Warfare Remastered slash COD 4. It'll deal 40 damage up close and decrease a little bit down to 30 at a distance. This means that it will take between three and four shots to kill, just kind of depending on how far away you are, but it's got very long range, which we will talk about in just a second, after the stopping power damage, which is 56 to 42. With stopping power, that means that it can kill in two or three shots. More often than not, it'll be two, and that allows it to drop people very, very quickly. The AK-47 is one of the handful of guns in this game that can compete on par with the M16 and one of the reasons is it has a really awesome maximum damage range of 45 meters which is very very long even after that you'll still get a few two-shot kills because it's got linear damage drop and it's very effective it's fully automatic so if you can get your first two shots on people will die very very quickly however the red dot sight and suppressor have some very unique interactions with this weapon that don't really show up in any of the other weapons in the game I'm going to set just a brief moment aside for a sponsor of mine. If you're interested in becoming a YouTuber, a streamer, or just creating content of your own, I've been using Elgato Capture Cards for five or six years now. This video was made on an Elgato HD60 Pro, and so are 99% of the other videos on my channel. If you're interested, there is a link down there below in the description. You can click for more info, but I think the quality, which you're watching right now, speaks for itself. If you run the red dot site or a suppressor, it will actually change the raw damage numbers and decrease the minimum damage down to 20. That means what was once a four shot kill is now going to be a five shot kill and that applies across the board same as stopping power and same versus juggernauts. Red dot or suppressor is going to lower your minimum damage. On top of this the red dot sight will slightly lower your maximum damage range giving the weapon overall less range. It's something about like 10% less and the suppressor will reduce your range by a colossal 65% or two thirds less range or leaving you with one third of your original range just however you want to think about it then that kind of makes sense because that's how suppressors work in Call of Duty. Generally speaking I do not recommend the red dot sight on the AK-47 because it decreases your damage and your overall range when you don't want to be doing that on your weapons unless it's absolutely necessary. I guess maybe if you really hate the iron sights it's okay but I try to avoid it. The suppressor does serve a purpose and I kind of like using it which we'll talk about later. Headshots deal 1.4x damage and and kind of like the M16, it's mostly not needed. You're doing enough damage to kill people very quickly anyway, and the ranges at which headshots will kill faster are kind of niche and not really ideal. Rate of fire is 705 rounds per minute. It'll round down and shoot a little bit slower than that after frame rounding, and it's just a little bit slow in general, but that makes sense. It's a classic AK-47 performance. High damage, low rate of fire, high recoil, all of this should make sense to you. The AK-47 has a very fast time to kill if you're accurate. It's not as fast as the M16 and not as fast as some of the crazier guns in the game like the Scorpion at point blank, but it does kill people very quickly. This is a weapon that can legitimately drop people very, very quickly. It can punch through walls very effectively, but you do have to be accurate because, and this leads into the next section, the AK-47 does have a fair amount of recoil for you to get used to. It's not a laser weapon. It's I'm actually going to classify it as very high recoil. It's not the high highest in the game. Uh, there are several weapons that kick worse, but this one kicks pretty bad. However, uh, one saving grace to the recoil is it's predictable. It may be high recoil, but it's mostly vertical recoil and it doesn't kick or wobble to the sides too much, so I personally find it easy to control, easy to master, and most of you will too. It's not that difficult to get used to. However, instead of spamming and holding down the trigger, a uh, small burst is going to be much more effective at range. The hip fire is normal for assault rifles, mathematically speaking the hip fire box isn't big or tiny or strange and it's entirely doable it's a high damage weapon you can totally spam this thing at hip fire and kill people if somebody's up close to you and you don't think you can aim down sights or do it quite right hip firing will work just fine 
When it comes to the iron sights, I know a lot of you are critical of me because I don't like a lot of them. I think the iron sights on the AK-47 are pretty good. I kind of like them. I think I like them more from a nostalgic standpoint. When I first started playing this game, definitely didn't like them. That's, you know, way back in 2007, I believe, when it first came out. But they grew on me. I got better with it. And uh, especially since I don't use the red dot sight, I guess I just got used to it. And now I can use them. Overall, very usable, very serviceable, but they are little bit obstructive and they can be problematic at long ranges. My best recommendation for this weapon is to use it with no attachments and stopping power because if you put the grenade launcher on there you can't access extra grenades or your primary perk. Stopping power is great that really amps up the damage, makes it a two shot kill most of the time, better at wall bangs, better at doing just about everything, makes the weapon legitimately scary. And that's how you'll see a lot of old school Call of Duty COD 4 veterans using this weapon. They'll run around with just no attachment, stop power, and just drop people. It can be very precise. However, I'm going to say the AK-47 also makes for a good stealth assault rifle if you run suppressor and UAV jammer. Suppressor does lower the range and it does lower the damage, but in the assault rifle class, it probably has some of the better and more usable iron sights. It also has a very good uh, feel to it. The suppressor reduces a lot of the muzzle flash and makes it easier to use the iron sights and it's one of the handful of assault rifles that I would recommend running this combo on. It definitely does lower the damage. You'll totally feel it. It won't quite uh, hammer people like it would with stopping power and it is very sucky against juggernauts but it can be a very good stealth weapon if you want to try that. Guys that's all for this short episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something useful. If you did don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.